You know, we all preach food products, but there's a lot more that goes into this whole prepping thing. The things you don't think about, the things that you don't see that much because they're either in a closet, they're in a cabinet or whatever else. Those are all things that you're going to need at some point. So buy it now while you can still afford it. Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'm sure you all heard last week when they announced the inflation rate went up 6.8%, the highest it's ever been in the last 40 years, folks. And it's only going to get worse because all the big companies have already announced at the beginning of the year they're going to raise their prices of all their products. And today we're going to be talking about the products maybe you shouldn't be looking at to try to buy extra of. And this way you can avoid the higher prices in the stores and everything else. And maybe a few ways that you can save a little bit of money. I'm going to give you some tips coming up next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So welcome back and here we go, folks. Now, we all know you got to stock up on food, right? I mean, that's just a give me. Everybody knows, you know, you got to get your food stocked up and everything else and be prepared for any type of of uncertainty that may be coming our way but there's also a lot of things that you probably should be stocking up on that you're not really thinking about and some of those products we're just going to go through some basic stuff here just to give you a little bit of ideas it's all on what you use on a daily basis now laundry detergent whatever kind you like to use all right, the prices and stuff, a lot of these products are all going up after the first of the year. That's already been announced. So stock up on your laundry detergent. If you see it on sale or whatever else, buy a couple extra ones. You know, you got to have some way to clean your clothes. You want to make sure that you do have those type of products. That would also go for, you know, if you need fabric softener, dryer sheets, all that different type of stuff. Whatever it is that you use to do your laundry and clean your clothes and bedding and everything else, you want to make sure that you have plenty of that. Paper goods. Now, napkins, buy them in bulk. The bigger the pack, the more money you save. All right? Now, keep it right along, paper products, tissues. All right? All these products and stuff are going to be going up, folks. So it's time to start stocking up. So pick up tissues and everything else. You know it's cold season throughout most of the country and everything else. Now, go online to Amazon. This is toilet paper, Cottonelle. This is how it comes to you, all right? This is 24 rolls. If you do the subscribe and save, you're going to lock in on the price that's already there. You're just going to save a lot of money. I've talked about that in some of my other videos, all right? I do the same thing with my paper towels. All right, I'm saving $15 a case on these paper towels because I've been locked in. And this way here, you get locked into the price and you're not going to pay any more until, well, they decide to save they don't have them anymore and you've got to change what you're looking at. Now, some other things, you know, <clears throat> for you men out there that are watching this, you know, stock up on your razors, your shaving gels and everything else. If you have a beard, mustache, something like that, and you use oil or beard ointment and stuff, all these prices are going to be going up, folks. you got to get on the ball. Toothbrushes. Stock up on some toothbrushes. Buy some extra packs. Floss. All right? Dental hygiene. You want to make sure that you're staying on top of that. Mouthwash. All that different type of stuff. Make sure you have that. Bar soap. All right? Now you can get liquid soap or whatever you like to use. The bar soap is going to last a lot longer, and it's easier to store. It's a lot smaller, compact. The bigger the pack you can buy, the more money you're going to save. Now, batteries. Everything runs on batteries of some sort, if you know what I'm saying. Flashlights and headlamps and tea lights and all kinds of stuff. Radios, everything. But all these prices are going up, so make sure that you're stocking up on I would suggest buying some tea lights and make sure you have plenty of tea light batteries because let's just face it, in an emergency type situation, if the power's out or anything else, tea lights is a, the safest way that you can put some light around your house, especially if you have kids. You don't have to worry about candles where you have to light them, you have an open flame. 
Tea lights are great. You can put them throughout the house. Right now, they're very inexpensive and cheap, and you can get them with timers and everything else, different colors, whatever it is that you would like. That's what you need to pick up. Batteries. Go through and see what you have. Don't buy batteries you don't need. All right? Go through and see. Pick up triple A's. Pick up D's. Double A's. And then if you have the... The big old style flashlights and stuff, you know, your six volts, make sure you have some extra one of those. All this stuff is going to be going up in price. Dishwashing liquid, all right? You probably don't even think about this, you know? So you need stuff to run your dishwasher to, to just regular wash dishes. Pick up extra, especially if you see it on sale, you know? Paper products. Now, paper products come in handy especially in emergency type situation because you're probably really not going to want to be using you know stuff that you have to make sure that you have products to wash hot water or anything of that nature so if you have extra paper products and everything you, you kind of avert that whole situation now if you have a vacuum sealer out there folks stock up on vacuum seal bags you can vacuum seal a lot of different things you can vacuum seal from food products to dry goods to frozen goods, emergency papers, passports, all this kind of stuff. You can vacuum seal that stuff so it stays safe, dry, it's eatable, it's going to last longer. If you're going to buy meat in bulk before the prices go any higher than they already are because it's, it's like, you know, if you want a steak, it's like an arm and a leg just to get a steak because it's so expensive. So make sure that you stock up and have extra food saver bags so this way here you can vacuum seal a lot of things and save yourself a lot of money now one more thing here if everybody out there if you're into canning or if you like to use the canning jars to make sure that you can you know vacuum seal them and this way here you can put your dry goods and those type of things in there Walmart has plenty and they're not that expensive yes they have gone up in price but they still have, you know, they still have canning jars. I just got some more in just the other day. They, they're there. You can get them right online. You have to go online. Some of the stores don't have them. But if you go online, you can buy them on there. And this way here, you're saving yourself a lot of money. So besides having all your food products and everything else, you really have to start thinking outside the box before January 1st, folks, because your time's running out it is running out and you got to make sure that you are prepped and ready and try to save yourself a lot of money before the inflation really goes through the roof and lord only knows what's going to happen but in this coming year there's so many things that are stacked against us that you want to be prepared you don't want to take a chance and think everything is going to be okay and everything is just going to be hunky-dory and it's not going to be. So you want to make sure that you're trying to go through and see what other products that you use in your house on a daily basis and try to stock up on some of that stuff while you still can. A lot of stores and stuff are running sales on a lot of different products right now. You know, buy one, get ones and everything else. I mean, they're having some good sales. So the time to stock up and buy a lot of these different products is now, folks. Your time is slowly dwindling. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today on this video. I hope this helps people out and gives you some ideas out there so that you know what to go look for, what you know that you need to stock up on besides food products and everything else. Till next time, folks, I will catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.